Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you a Vive tool, a very cool little free open source and technically portable because it uses PowerShell or the command prompt to activate hidden features in Windows 10 and 11 insider builds. As you can see here, basically I'm using the beta. So you're going to want to download it, check the video description, or look for the I up here to download it. And once you have it, extract it anywhere you want. I have it here on my desktop so you can easily see it. So Vive tool requires, I'm going to call it codes. So there's a good chance if you're watching this video, you came here because you have one of the codes, or you can just search for them. And there's websites out there to keep up with this stuff. For this video, we're going to enable File Explorer tabs, which is not available and appears to be in testing again. So let's start with the command prompt, Windows key plus X, and do Windows Terminal as admin. Click yes and there's your Windows terminal. So now what you need to have is the code. Once you have the code you can unlock the features. So in this case we're going to use the code that again enables File Explorer tabs. As with anything with the command prompt you want to be in the correct folder. So I know it's on my desktop and I put it there again so I could get there easily. Whoops. There we go. And as you can see, there it is. So now you need to code. You just copy and paste it in or type it in if you like typing. And you may get an error. If you do get an error, do period, backslash, put the code in, and you can see successfully set features configuration. If you get an error, verify your code that you typed it correctly, which is why I prefer to copy and paste it. All right, so we're going to stop here and we're going to reboot and we're going to show you File Explorer tabs and then briefly show you how you can remove what you put in. So it'll take a couple minutes to reboot. So I'm going to hit pause and we'll come back on the Windows 11 splash screen. Okay, so while we wait for Windows to finalize starting up, you should have a pretty good understanding of Windows if you're using an insider build. So if you're new to it, you should be doing it preferably in a virtual machine as I am here because I can come here and say VM, snapshot, revert. I can do anything I want to this copy of Windows, anything. And I just click that and I'm right back to a fresh clean install. I can't damage it. So I don't worry about it. But if you're not used to using insider builds, do not use it on a daily driver. Just a fair warning. All right, let's see if it worked. There it is. So it's very cool. You see it works pretty well. There's a little bit of lag there bouncing between the tabs, but again, my virtual machine can run a little slower since I'm running Windows inside of Windows and a screen recording, a paint program, web browser, RSS reader, email. So, you know, 32 gigs of RAM gets eaten up. So there you have it. Now, if you want to remove it, we can do that. Windows key plus X again, back to Windows terminal as admin. The only thing you need to do here is basically repeat the code replacing what you saw earlier let me uh, change to the correct folder whoops dot backslash period backslash the only difference is when you put it in there it said add config now it's del short for delete config and it's gone once again, you're looking for successfully set. Any error messages, you aside from the period backslash, you want to verify if you're typing, that you type that incorrectly. So once again, once I reboot, it's still going to be there until I reboot. Pretty much everything you do with the Vive tool requires a reboot. And there you have it. That's a little bit of how you can play around in your Windows Insider build, which is I kind of get a kick out of it because you're running a beta of Windows but then you get to unlock features that aren't even in the beta build yet. And I'm on the fast ring, they call it. So pretty neat. I like the File Explorer tabs. Hopefully it sticks this time. And there you have it, the bottom right-hand corner. You can click subscribe if you like. Click a like, we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, we do appreciate you. See ya.